Okay, here we are. Round two, top 20. Got two more giant boxes to open that are literally, they literally weigh a ton. So, we know the drill. Let's bust it open. Okay, so we're gonna open the NYX box first, and then we'll open the second Face Awards box after this one. We're gonna open the specialty box first, just to see what's inside. Okay, so we got a ton of these little Vivid Brights, which are my favorite. Wow, these are warm from sitting in the FedEx place. Wow. Wow. And then we got more of the SFX cream color, which I use like so much of the black and white because I feel like every, like everyone who does like body painting or any sort of like animation on themselves, you're going to need like more white and black than any other color, in my opinion. And then we got some of the NYX primal colors. But yeah, these are my favorite and I like using them as like eyeshadow because they blend really well. And then setting them with like a loose powder. This pink one is like my favorite. I used to buy that one all the time. All the time. Okay. So now we're going to the next box, which is base. This thing's enormous. Wow. So we got some priming spray. Some Honey Do Me Up. I haven't tried that. I've thought about trying it. I don't know. I just... Does anyone else do that where they like see something a hundred thousand times? They're like, I'm gonna try it. I'll get it next time. I'll get it next time. And they just put it off and never buy it. That's like all I do. We got some more highlighters. And then we have a bunch of glitter, which I literally have a whole basket on my wall over there of like glitter because I just, I hoard it. I hoard glitter. And then this one. Oh my god. The Love You So Mochi? Mochi? Mochi. Mochi. Is it Mochi or Mochi? I don't know. Can we get two of them? Two of them. And then these little foundation mixers. Let's see. Liquid foundation. Can you, I think you can mix these together. I don't know. We'll try them. We'll try them and see. That orange one. That's literally me when I get a spray tan. Your girl ends up always looking fucking orange. And then these are the, oh, the little liquid boosters. I've seen these. They're like liquid highlight, I think. Well, the packaging's really cute. It like sparkles on the top. Oh, we got four of those. Those are pretty. Those are pretty. Watch out, dogs. Watch out. And then we have the lips box. Okay, so what are these? The NYX Cosmic Metals. Is that what these all are? Oh my god. Why are they so difficult to open? Oh, they're rubber band, though. Yeah, there's a bunch of those. That blue one's really pretty. It'd be pretty on like an eye. You can have like an eyeshadow. Probably. And then we have Strictly Vinyl. I, are these the new ones? I'm pretty sure they just came out with new ones. These might be them. I don't know. I don't know. I guess we'll see. Yeah, that's one of those. And then there's some more of the NYX Liquid Suede. I like these. I like the formula. They're very, like, soft. That makes me sense. They just feel really soft. Oh my god. Get off. I've been really into these bright colors. I never wear these colors though. Like I, I buy so many like bright colors, like these purples and blues and 
Like I get a lot of black liquid lipsticks, but I never wear them. Like I literally always go back to like the NYX lingerie and lace detail. I literally have like seven of those. They're my favorite, but I constantly buy new lip products, but I never try them. I never wear them. I like to just look at them on the shelf in my makeup room. <laughs> That's it. But then I don't want to give any away. Everyone's like, oh, I want, like, if you have any extra, let me know. Like, I totally love to, like, go through your stuff. I'm like, <laughs> no, because I literally, I hoard makeup. I, ho I don't need all this stuff, but I like the option of having it. That's just me as a person. So we have more of these NYX Soft Matte Creams in different colors. What color is that one? Manila? Manila. Manila. And then we have, these are shiny. <laughs> Let's see. Oh my god, yeah. Yeah. Hi dogs, are you ignoring me? Hi honey. Hi. Hello honey. Oh hi. Hello. I'm excited to make an appearance. Hello. Yeah, these are the Duo Chromatic little shimmer lip glosses. That pink is really pretty. I've been loving like these iridescent colors. Like it's very like unicorn, like Coachella-y. Don't know it's huge right now. Excuse me, I am filming. Please don't scratch my arm. Please don't scratch my arm. You're a little brat. You're brat. And then we have a bunch of the lip pencils. Once again, all the dark colors that I constantly buy, but I never wear, but I hoard because I need them. She is literally playing with tissue paper like a shit, and she's going to tear it all up, and I'm going to have to vacuum it. Rudy quit eating Q-tips. He literally digs Q-tips out of the trash and will like, I find them everywhere in the house. Like little tiny pieces of Q-tip because he constantly just has to tear them up and has to dig through the trash to find them because he's a brat. But my excuse is that he's getting kind of old. So I just, I kind of just let him do whatever he wants, which is teaching bad habits, but I love him, so it's fine. So this next box is the eyes box. Why are these so difficult to open? Okay, whoever at FedEx needs to like not smash everything because I almost ripped my nail off. That would have been a bloodbath. Oh, there's lashes. <laughs> so, a glazed and confused. What is that? I don't know. <laughs> we will find out. <laughs> We shall try it and we shall, we shall find out. This is so much stuff. It's so overwhelming to like get these boxes. Like everyone's like, oh my God, that's so great that you get them. Like, you know, you should totally like give me stuff. I'm like, no. But it, it's, it's so overwhelming to like see all this makeup and it like be sent to you and be like, oh yeah, just use it. Like it's literally like what little girls like go for makeup aisles or dream of or like when you like first starting well you first start makeup it's so hard because like it's hard to get noticed in this industry and like i remember the first pr list i would put on i was like oh my god i made it like i totally made it i'm so happy like this is it like screw everybody like don't even talk to me i'm on a pr list like whatever and like to think now like it's so humbling just to have like People send you something and be like, here, you can, it's for you. You can have it. It's it's just so, like, it's incredible. Just to sit and look at, like, thousands of dollars worth of makeup that someone just, like, gave to you. <laughs> As a, I mean, you work for it, but, like, just to think that someone literally was like, here you go. You can have this. It's yours now. Incredible. So, we have a ton of these. Oh, God. Just different eyeliners, metallics, mattes. Oh, is that a gel? Yeah, like just ton, ton of them, which I, I need because I run out of eyeliner so fast, but I hardly ever use it. Like I always use liquid liner, but I never have any pencils, which makes no sense to me. No sense to me. And then we have the Strictly Vinyl liners. I'm excited about these. I'll probably try that black one tomorrow my daily makeup. What is this? Worth the hype. 
mascara, which I also never have enough of. Cause I, I never never think to buy mascara. Like it's just like such an afterthought. Ooh, these are pretty. Some more eyeshadow palettes, perfect filter. What's this one? Gloomy Days and All of You. Oh, yeah. All of you. And then we have the smoky eye palette, which is cute. Literally all I wear is smoky, smoky eyes. Some primer and glitter primer. I like their glitter primer because it's not super sticky. Cause I hate when some I hate when brands make glitter primer and it just feels like glue. Like that's not primer, that's glue. Sorry. <laughs> but I like I like NYX, they have good primer. Some more of the jumbo eye crayons or eye pencils. I guess they're called. And these are the holographic halo and they're cream eyeliners. They're really pretty. Like I'm excited to try them. Anything holographic, like I said, or iridescent or shiny. It has my name on it and I'm probably gonna love it. So there's that. Thank you, Jesus, because I literally ran out this morning and I hardly got these eyelashes on. So just to get eyelash glue in a box, thank you. Because <laughs> I was like, should I stop at the gas station or Walgreens on the way home? Then I got a text message saying, oh, your box is at FedEx. And I was like, nope, I got stuff to do. I got to go to FedEx. I have to get the box where it closes. And I literally forgot to stop at Walgreens on the way home. So thank you. Thank you for that being in there because I need it so badly. <laughs> And then we have more of their pigments, some like glittery ones, shimmer, what else? Ooh, yeah, that one. I want that one on my eye right now. We got all these lashes. I literally hoard them, like I have a basket. I can see it like under my desk and in the bookshelf over there, just like overflowing with eyelashes because like that's my go-to. If I see like a cheap pair of eyelashes that look like good quality, I buy them. Like I always get people being like, can I send you my eyelashes? I'm like, yes please send me all of your eyelashes because like I love them I love I can't not wear them I look like a naked mole rat or like I don't know I just look like absolute like I look like a nightmare with my eyelashes like, I look like I'm literally gonna like burn your house down and like eat your family I look like a complete monster it's not a good look for Morgan whatsoever not even in the slightest so. Okay, so finally in the NYX box we have, this is the last one, it's the tools. So, do you like my knife? I found it in my purse because I carried it on me because I'm paranoid of being like kidnapped or like mugged. And it's very fitting because it matches. So, <laughs> you may think I'm crazy and I don't want to die. I promise. Oh, tissue. Ooh, I see shiny. I see shiny. I go through these like crazy and I'm glad they sent me more because I literally have half the bag left of the first round they gave me and I haven't done any like crazy makeup looks. Like it's just me using them because I don't know why. I just go through so many of these little sponges. It's kind of ridiculous. And then we have, what is this? Oh, it's like a little makeup bag. It's really cute. You know what this reminds me of? You know those little bug holders or little bug catchy things you would get when you're little that you would like stick the bug in and like carry around? So it kind of reminds me of. Except I'm not going to stick a bug in this. There's a difference. Some more beauty blenders, once again. Like, I just, I always need to have like three of these. Even though I only use the one old, battered, and nasty, like, beauty blender I've had for like literally forever that I clean all the time that's like just stained from me using it but I, I'm, I'm always like grabbing more beauty blenders that I, I just don't need I don't have I don't have any use for them because I just use the same old nasty one that's just like why why spend your money if you're just gonna use the same old disgusting one more makeup wipes which once again I go through a ton because I wear a ton of makeup this face isn't natural Okay, so we have a ton of brushes, which are, these are cute. I like the, like, the packaging, not the packaging. What's that called? The handles? The handles? Handles on these. 
But the Metal David contour brush, like, get those cheekbones looking all cute. Oh my god, my makeup room is like, so I have a three bedroom apartment. And if you like, follow me on Snapchat or anything like that, you know that three months ago, my apartment flooded. There was two inches of like standing water in my kitchen. Um, they we had to have our, we've had our house fumigated twice. We still need to have it fumigated one more time. They tried charging us $1,100 for the fumigation, even though they're the ones that set it up and all that. Um, my AC unit in my bathroom right now, currently there's a, I guess AC units aren't supposed to leak into your house. They're supposed to leak outside of your house for like safety and health reasons. But there's a little like tube or like drain thing that like hangs over my shower in my guest bathroom that's supposed to drip. Well, the whole like unit like broke. So water is just like dripping out the side. There's water damage down the side of the wall. So I have like a little bucket like sitting there now. And I told them about it and I was like, hey, can you have someone come fix this? And they're like, no, like just turn, turn the AC off. Like just don't use it. It's like 103 degrees in Texas right now. And you're telling me not to use my AC unit. Like I'm not from here. I'm not used to the heat. Like I'm used to like Montana where it's like snowy 10 months out of the year. Like don't say, oh, don't use the AC. Just turn it on. It'll be fine. Like, no, this apartment is like so tiny. And this makeup room is like bursting at the seams. And we pay so much like $1,600 a month to live in these ghetto apartments where they're just, everything is crammed together. Like this is my one last little wall that's like kind of has some space left to it. Even though like I put these stupid gold stickers on there that are just falling off. Like I hate living here. I hate this apartment. Just to preface, this makeup room is tiny. There's boxes and crap everywhere. Like I'm surprised I haven't knocked something off my desk and like tipped over a light. Like my life is a mess. Hi, you didn't, you, I'm sure you're not here for the quality content. That is not me. <laughs> so this, this is it. Okay, off my soapbox, time for box number two. Oh, box number two. So, let's get into it. And, okay, so last time they didn't, I know in like the past they hinted at like, um, what's it called? Like the theme of the next round with certain items in the box. Last time I could not figure out. They sent me like a cactus, some like perfume, and like nothing to that went with the theme. And I was like, what is the theme? So this time I'm gonna figure it out. Even though I'm probably gonna be completely wrong again, or I'm just not gonna get it. Cause like, that's just, I just don't pay attention enough. I'm kind of an airhead. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. They sent me this little card. I keep these by the way. Any, like anything I get, I, I keep. Cause I think it's like cute to like have it sent to me. I don't know. But it says, we hope you enjoy these goodies brought to you by NYX Professional Makeup and our amazing sponsors. And the sponsors are Target, Redken, Beachy, Clarisonic, Kitsch, and Audio Network. And then it has all their little things tagged. But it's cute. Where are we at? There's my face. I'm right there. <laughs> I'm going to save this. I should just frame it. No, that's too far. That is too far. Okay, so this is on top. And it feels, what is this? This is from Kitsch. Kitsch? I don't think I say, I don't feel like I say anything right. Like I can hardly speak English and it's the only friggin' language I know. Kitsch. This is a, what is this? <laughs> Elevated hair, oh it's a hair towel. Why can't I read? Oh my god. So I'm seeing there's palms. It's like floral, or not floral, tropical print, tropical print. Who's texting me? And then I have, what is this? A shower cap, which also looks tropical print. Tropical, tropical print. Okay. The next item, what is this? Is a little bag from Audio Network. It says rewind, playback. This is cute. I like having little bags like this for like, when I go to the lake or take the dogs for a walk or just like throw all my crap in that I don't necessarily need but I decide to just pack it around with me all day anyway like my purse is the size of like literally like my house it's ridiculous and this box is from Claire Sonic Ooh, wow 
Jesus. Oh my God. They're so generous. That's why I do not understand. There's literally like a cleanser, three different brush heads, and then four different brush heads. Oh my God. They're so like, Ugh. I looked at these brushes forever before I like entered the um, face awards. I had no idea that they were going to be a sponsor. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm a broke college student. Like I cannot justify spending that much money and for it to like be sent to me it's just like they're so generous to like give out stuff like that like that's incredible to me so thank you i really really appreciate it because like i've kind of stepped up my skincare since i got that brush i'm like wow i feel super bougie and my skin's gonna be so clear like no one's gonna recognize me like i'm gonna look so good but i'm kind of a garbage person and don't stick to anything so there's that <sighs> My skin is getting better thanks to that. I love my face looks so clean with that friggin' brush. I love it. So this is from Target. We'll keep that. So this is a hydrating seaweed bath. If my upstairs neighbors do not cool it, I'm gonna go kick their dog because it just barks all day and it literally sounds like they're doing a rain dance upstairs. Please stop. Can you hear that? Oh my god, shut up. And then there's a body sponge. I literally thought this was an uncrustable. My fat ass thought this was an uncrustable sandwich. And I was like, ooh, hell yeah. No, it's a sponge. <laughs> it's a sponge. Shoot. And then we have some bath bombs. Funny story, I used to have my own bath product line. It was pretty successful. Um, I just stopped doing it because life happens and things end and I didn't want it to end so maybe I'll make a story about that so that's a good story time not really no one cares but I used to have a bath line and I love doing it so this is from Redkin once again this iridescent paper I saved the other one I don't know what happened to it it's somewhere in my house but I have more of this somewhere because it's so pretty so pretty okay so heat restyling tool i like this stuff uh, from any brand so i'm excited to try that one all over bodybuilder what is that like volume lotion which i need because my hair is so thin <laughs> and so damaged and frail and brittle And then we have some super strong sculpting gel, which will, I think will be really good for my wigs because I'm so like, I'm so lazy about styling them and like I'll style them beautifully and I won't use any products in them and then they just end up like falling or like it just gets ruined. So I'm excited for those. This box is Beachy. Vichy or Beachy? I don't know how you say it. Beachy. Yeah. I like their packaging. Okay, so, seaweed, tropical, now that I'm like thinking back to the theme, I didn't really pay attention. So, seaweed is tropical, looking. The packaging for the hair wrap and towel is tropical, looking. Vichy, this just looks, let's see. Mm -hmm. Ooh, they sent me more of this, this hydrating skin booster. Like, I was like, oh, it looks kind of weird. Like, it just looks like water, like in a little bottle. But the consistency is like, I love it for my skin because my skin gets so dry. They sent me more of this um, like mineral spray like stuff, but like, I was like, what is it? So last time, it's like, it's just like, it, it's so refreshing. It, I, I've used this in public. I look like a crackhead. I'm just like, like just like pull out of my purse and like refresh myself. I'm like, wow, it just feels so like, I don't know, cooling. Cause it's so hot down here that I literally want to die. So I love that stuff. That's stuff my favorite. So that was the end of our boxes. The theme, I still don't know. <laughs> I'm pretty, I don't know. It just seems like tropical. I swear to God, it has to be something to do with that. Or like beach, no. But like, how are you gonna send me something that looks like this and not expect me to think like, oh, tropical. How do you use this? Looks like one of those towels for little kids. But no, it just like everything is like, like kind of green, like tropical looking. So I'm assuming that's what it has to do with is rainforest or like a beach 
or like a rainforest. I don't know. Because last time I was like, oh my god, it's got to be like desert themed. There's a cactus. And it was like power makeup. And I was like, huh? Like, what? Like, <laughs> how'd we get here? So, I don't know. I guess we'll see. But thank you, NYX Cosmetics, for... Once again, sending me all the stuff. Thank you to all the sponsors for once again sending me all the stuff. Even though, like, it's just it's just overwhelming. Hey, ma'am, please get out of the tissue paper. And oh no, like it's just like it, it's it, it's so like you feel so not loved. I, I kinda. I mean, like they just send you these things. They're like, you know, good job for being you. Like, take this. Like you can have it. Like this. Just, it's just like, oh. Just to have all the stuff sent to you, it's so overwhelming, like, like, I don't know. And I was telling my dad today, like, it's amazing the people that come out of, like, the woodwork to, like, ask you for things that you haven't spoken to in, like, years. Or you've never even spoken to them because they see you doing well and they want a handout. Like, I, I cannot tell you how many people that I don't even know personally, like, from where I live that I've never spoken to that's like, hey... If you're ever going through your makeup, like, hit me up. I want some. Like, no. Like, I, I, I worked hard for this stuff. Like, obviously, I'm not going to be like, it's mine. You can't have it. Like, I give a good majority of the stuff to, like, my friends, my family. But, like, if I've never spoken to you and the only reason you want to have a relationship with me is to, like, have, like, to get things. Like, no. I don't know. I don't want to be around you. Like, that's so, like... I don't know, toxic and negative that people like, people literally do that. Like, I can't, I can't believe it. And it only happened like recently, like these last like six months that people saw that I was like kind of doing well with like everything. And they're like, hey, like, give me, <laughs> no, like work hard. Like if all of us makeup artists that have made it this far have worked our asses off. Like don't just ask for things because you like, I don't know like don't ask like go you go work for it you go do it like it's not hard you just it's just dedication like stop asking for everyone else to do things for you and just go do it your damn self like I don't I, I, I just get so mad about that like I don't, I don't understand how people have the audacity to be like oh I want some like give me something like oh my god like when my friends come over, I have no problem. You need a lipstick, go grab one out of the basket. You need some eyelashes, go grab one out of the basket. You're low on concealer, go grab one. Like I don't care, but like, don't try to build a relationship like straight off the bat with like being wanting something. And don't try to build a relationship with me if all you want is like my things. Because that's like, I don't know, that's so messed up that people do that. Like, and I never realized that people were like that. And people that I heard about from like back home and like kind of knew them from like mutual friends would do that like I just I never realized that people were like actually that like scummy of people just to want to be around somebody just to get something for their benefit and not like because they actually care about that person I don't know that's just me don't be that person work for it you want something go get it yourself stop taking it from other people stop asking for it from other people do your damn thing I don't know like <laughs> leave me alone like I don't want to do anything like uh, like you can get there on your own it's not that hard it's really not that hard I hit 10k not this year but last year on Super Bowl and I was at literally I, I was driving to my friend Rachel's house and I was like in the car about to cry I was like oh my god I made it like I thought I had made it made it when I tell you I hit 10k and I was like so overwhelmed that, like 10k was like oh and like granted my page has grown slowly like you know over the year or so, almost two years, or however long I've been doing it, I don't even know anymore. Like, it just takes time. Like, if you're starting out in the makeup industry, don't expect everybody to sit, put you on their PR list. Don't expect everybody to send you things right off the bat. Like, you gotta, like, put yourself out there and brand and, like, get to know, make, get to know people and make friends. Like, make friends. That's the biggest thing you can do in this industry is just make, make friends. Be friends with somebody. It's not a competition. Like, who cares if that person lives 2,000 miles away from you? What are you mad about? Like, it's online. You're never going to see the person face to face. Probably. Like, don't create drama online. Just, like, be friendly. Shit. I don't know. I don't know. That's just me. I want to say thank you for this opportunity, Nix. And thank you to all the sponsors for sending me all the stuff. And, like, Nix, thank you for sending me all the stuff. Like, it's absolutely incredible. 
that I get this, get to experience this at, you know, 20 years old and have thousands of people everywhere voting for me and supporting me and like, I get to create this little online family and community that I'm gotten so close with and I'm so thankful for everyone's support. Like, it's just, it's amazing that I get to compete with some people that I've known on the platform for so long and it's bringing us all closer and like making us tighter as a family because the makeup community on Instagram or on any social platform, it's so competitive and it's so ridiculous and it's just like to see everyone like come together and support one another and like it, it's just it's been so like heartwarming and like it, it's so it's like the best feeling ever to like sit and look at someone and be like great job like I support you 100% like even like even though we're competing like it's a rate like we are like literally fighting each other for this like it's not easy it, by no means it's not gonna be easy relationships are probably gonna you know there's there's always bad blood but like I don't know like just the way it's been going this year it seems like everybody is so loving and so kind and like that's I'm so thankful for it because there's been years where it's just like cutthroat and people are gonna be like like it's just some people are so rude and like I don't know like if it's just like it's just so competitive and I'm so happy that like it's just like it's just so filled with love this year and like I, I know people personally like that I'm competing with that it's like I'm closer with that person. I support that person. That person supports me, even though it is a competition. But it's like it's just incredible. These are all of these all of us artists and the people I'm competing against, and even the people that made the top thirty. They're so talented, and like it, it's just there's so much talent out there, and this like really gives us a, like a light, like it shines a light on all of us to sh like to show like what we really are and how talented each and every one of us are. And, like, that's, like, the best experience, I think. Like, it's not about, like, the money. It's not about the prize. It's not about all the things. It's, like, just giving us, like, a little pedestal, like, a little platform just to sit on for a second and show our talent and showcase it for everyone to see is, like, that's what I'm thankful for. And I'm so happy for this, like, experience and being able to do this with all these people. Like, it's just, like, I'm, it's, I'm, I'm so happy. I'm so thankful. So I want to thank Nix and everyone involved for letting me do this. Get out of my shirt. Oh my god, lady. Ah! <laughs> Everything goes wrong. No, no, no. That's just me. That's just me.